<laughs> Red butt tongue. Yeah, we good. Flat out. <laughs> Okay. YouTube, YouTube know what's up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all late. Y'all gonna be late anyway because I gotta watch them copyright claims. Oh, okay. For them intros. They be trying to come get me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, Skeet, what's popping, man? Man, long, busy week. YouTube, welcome. Handling I'm business. just not gonna tap y'all in. You know what I'm saying? Ilmax, Ski, uh, Ilmax Showcast with Ski. You dig? FNXT, I want to get you 15% off your supplements. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Urban Access. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, follow us on IG too. Urban Access. A K C E S S. What it do? Yeah, go ahead and uh, crank us up one time. Like he said, we around the corner. We nine seventy eight. Nine seventy eight, man. And just start hitting people up. Do us a favor. You know what I'm saying? Don't you know be what selfish. What don't you don't subscribe. Selfish. A lot of people that listen don't be subscribed. Yeah, they be having to double back, proofread them own selves. Exactly. But nah, man. Ski, uh, how was the week, man? Weekly week was recap. Week crazy. Week was crazy? Payroll had the funds. Oh, man. They jacked was... up. They played with your moolah? Yeah, the wire wasn't uh, sufficiently correct. Mm. So, uh, we had a really, big, nigga? really, really, really big, big misunderstanding. Okay. What you, what you, okay, take me, take me through this process real quick. Man, for one. When you saw the funds weren't right. I'm just keeping in mind just a, a was, fair one. Okay, what the was the payroll? What was the system, first move? What was the first call that was made? Payroll. <laughs> Left a voicemail. Payroll. Name and contact number <laughs> immediately. Okay. Not knowing that they just closed at eight and they probably normally close at like maybe four or five. Okay. So since the foolishness been going on with the funds. Mm-hmm. They open from eight to eight, seven days a week. The hacking off. Yeah. Right. The whole thing with the rents. Right. So a lot of companies, you know what I'm saying, use the system or whatnot, but you know what I'm saying? You could check your funds or whatnot and see what it's gonna be looking like. Mm -hmm. You still can't go in the system and you know what I'm saying, check all of your your time and all these type of situations or whatnot. So I was like, oh look, <sighs> this ain't right. So right. I hit the supervisor up. She like, you got to call payroll. Right. I'm like, okay. Okay. I called their ass, left a message. So I'm like, okay, they closed. Okay. Next morning? Next morning, called them bright and early. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because me and the supervisor already went over a description on the errors. Right. So I wrote that down. So uh -huh. I could get them a summary of what it is. You know what I'm saying? They see. Uh-huh. And what's going to be the next steps. Because we got to get that right. You know what I'm saying? With, because that's what they basically been doing. They've been making corrections, uh -huh. processing payments for us, putting people checks into their account within the next 48 hours or two to three business days at least. Okay. So I had to get my shit together because I wasn't working. So what you calling and say when you call payroll? I told them the reason why I was calling. <laughs> And shit, they got the... I forgot, you a reason, but you ain't gonna call it in frustration and mad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you know, it just... When I know what's right, and if they could see... Because that's what I'm saying. I wasn't looking at what they could see at the time. So I'm at the gig on the phone or whatever, but I'm already going over the summary of what it is. Right. Plus, I was taking care of business for us to truck. Right. So I'm waiting on hold, and I waited for like 45 minutes just to get on the phone. Okay. I and was when you got wait. on the phone, what, what you what went you, straight to the point. Went straight to the point. She was like, okay. And I asked, I said, can I tell you what we looked at? Boom. Cool. She told me what she could see. Then I said, okay, the next steps is for my supervisor to put the request in for the funds to get to. Okay. Boom. Okay. And I just kind of asked her, like, shit, what y'all waiting on? You know what I'm saying? So what they do, they they, they reimburse you immediately or they, they going to say they're going to put it on the next check type shit? Nah. Nah? Two to three business days. Oh, okay. So basically, That's what's up. I was able to look back on the uh, website. Yeah, me, I'm calling. First thing I'm saying, hey, my check ain't right. Y'all got to fix this. <laughs> that's yeah. that's what I'm going with. I'm off the rip. Yeah, shit Straight was up. all the way left with that situation. Then uh, tow truck, man, I had to check his ass because... I didn't get a call from him on Monday. Uh-huh. 
You know what I'm saying? When they when I called to get a tow. Okay, so you scheduled sched- you scheduled the tow. Scheduled the tow. And he was playing. Motherfucker gonna tell me. You know what I'm saying? Well, call somebody else then. Call somebody else then if you want to get it. Man, really, first nigga? of all, take the tow truck man voice. Put that shit to the side. Oh, he had to, uh, but how the tow truck man voice sounds, kid? Just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like, and he being cool with it, though. He was, and deep, then he he was, was like, my guy's called in sick on, on Monday. I didn't know that, though, but I do know I didn't talk to you. <laughs> so... You know, you telling me to call somebody else. <laughs> the last person that I did speak with when I had it scheduled, mm-hmm. I ain't getting no motherfucking call. So whatever you going to do today, just make sure somebody come through, man, because I don't want to waste my time or yours. Did they end up coming to get it? Or you had, yeah. to switch, you had to switch people? Yeah, they came through, and they came through early. And the time they said they was going to come. So okay. they had to wait on me because I was going to meet their ass there a little bit right before – the scheduled time was. I oh, saw so you played petty. Nah, I was in route. Oh, I was in, in route. route. Yeah, I was most definitely in route. Okay. But got tried, that situation. He tried, to get, he tried to get Debo on you, huh? Yeah, man. It's man. my bike, punk. Huh? Boo on there getting ready and shit because I'm up early. It's like 5, 6 in the morning. Sheesh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm like, nigga, all right, man. Early bird gets the worm looking there. Bro, they got the 24 hour service, so we got to get right. Okay. So let's get right to it. So the kids in 2022. Uh huh. Now I understand, you know what I'm saying, now versus then for as, uh, when the weather go to single digits or whatever. Right. They cancel school because of the kids on the bus stop. That's too cold. And they just do virtual school. Never heard of in, in the history. Never of heard of Of niggardism. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. But. I found out the girls had a virtual day because of the weather. I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's what it but is. But y'all get drove to school, but they was more yeah, concerned virtual. of the kids that walk, so they just say, everybody stay home. Basically, the virtual thing is is um, an excuse for teachers not to be in class or for school to close. Because they feel like the kids can still do the work. But... They ain't got to be here. Mm. So they just going to use that as much as they can. Yeah. Which I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, zero degrees, negative two, that's easy work. Yeah, I mean, as long as you get to school, yeah. you know, the weather is outside. It's called buy your kids some thermals. Long johns. Long johns. Turtlenecks. Whew. Long two on, socks. Dog. Grease the face up. Grease the whole body up. The whole body, you For right. Real. Reach the Chap whole body stick, up. Chapstick in the bag or the pocket. Yeah, got to be, that got to be thick. Or ski mask. Yeah. When you was young, you know we had the full ski. You ain't out yeah, there snowballing the with the, nah. just the, mm-mm. And gloves. And get you some snow boots if it's going to be some shit out there thick. And we walking. For one. Yeah, we was we walking. We walking. Yeah, we was walking. Just, we wanted to walk through they the catch, snow. They catch the bus. They stand outside for about three minutes, four minutes. Big Don KK, they just stand at the door. They can see the bus coming down the street. They don't walk out the door until the bus come. Ah, okay. So, so they what they need system. to be out of school for? That's why I was just saying. I was just like, man, that's that's cool for y'all, but that shit wasn't right back in the day. It wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. We I walking. be having to let motherfuckers know. I stopped seeing buses after middle school. We ain't had nothing in high school. <laughs> and if, if you miss the bus none. at the bus stop right here, you better try to catch that hole on the back on the way back around. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You knew that. And if if anything else went otherwise, you probably had a new driver that day. The best but you thing knew going. It was coming back around and you could try to catch. The best thing going was for a nigga that had a whip to see you walking. Mm-hmm. And he'd pull over and give you a ride. Flat out. Player. For real. Player. Other than that, you was over. You with. gotta get there. Rain, sleet, hell, and snow. Oh, yeah, you got to get there. Straight up. But uh, another situation, man. I'm I'm trying to, if y'all real supporters, real listeners, y'all pay attention. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Okay. So me up? and Boo having a conversation about kids in her classroom vegetarians. Okay, shout out to Boo one time. 
And this is pre-K. Kids in pre-K. Vegetarian. So this is the first grade you you officially uh-huh. in the big school. Right. But you a vegetarian. Yeah. So I was just trying to figure this shit out. Like, how they know. What you a vegetarian know, is. What Right. First of all, what the vegetarian is. And they supposed to be learning about fruits and vegetables, proteins, bread, all of that. But. Right. It's implemented right. to them that you only eat vegetables. All right, we're going to run the promo run with Ski real quick. It'll make me step out. Hey, man, one time. Uh, talk about the uh, talk about the kids, dog, and the vegetarian stuff, dog. Yeah. How did that come about? Man, because me and Boo having a conversation about her nephew only ate, only drank bottle that had milk and bananas in it. So, nephew, if you listening, as a matter of fact, I'm going to just call Boo and see. Uh, don't quote me. I want to get it together, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he, he big dog and out here, and I don't want to look local like that. So, I just need to clarify. Uh, Boo, one time for me. Uh, I got the message. I got it. Uh, I'm going to get that on the way to the crib. But, nephew... The the bottle had bat, bananas and milk in it only, or just bananas? Bananas and milk. And that's the only way he'll drink. Other than that, he'll cry and and that's give it. If not, he giving it back to you, right? If not, he slammed it on the table. Damn, nephew was strong on with it. Okay. I just had to take a, a intermission real quick on the cast. I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want the people to quote me for what exactly it was that he didn't drink and how it was preserved in the bottom. This was in the bottle, right? right. Or the cup. Oh, the sippy cup too? Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks. Love you. So there you have it, peoples. Nephew didn't drink the sippy cup or the bottle unless it had bananas in it. And we was rapping about kids in the classroom, you know what I'm saying, just flat out in pre-K or vegetarians. And I'm like, how... Do they come to school learning about all of the the what is it called the vegetable tree? Yeah, the pyramid of right. the food, the help, or you know, food category. Yeah, but the school just don't provide vegetables. So then I mean, I'm they like, do, okay, did Michelle Obama do some stuff for that? I guess kind of enhanced the uh, better lunches overall, which which right. did go down. They started incorporating salads and. Yeah, a lot of stuff. stuff. So like that, that. But that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, if they don't provide that every day, what they do? They they brought a lunch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, greasy homemade pizza, the, the the rectangle pizza. They don't know nothing about that. They don't know about that. Nah, y'all sleep. Uh, they sleeping on that. But but yeah, that shit fucked me. I was like, how the kid? I ain't never heard no such thing as a pre K uh, vegetarian. You All got right. some years behind the years before you can even acknowledge what a vegetarian yeah. is, and then you decide what's going to go in your body and call yourself and live up to being a vegetarian, but not in no damn pre-K. Well, all right, we can go to, first we can go to kids or the culture that they grow up in. Right. Right? Um, Just like a child growing up in church. Right. It's that... Culture that they grew up in. Granted, right. church kids bad. But other than that, they got a different view on things than everybody else. But then Boo say they'll get something in front of them that ain't vegetarian. Well, that's okay for them to eat. Right. And they'll think that it's vegetarian. They have to get reminded that's not such and such, you know. Right. And then they ain't got food where, you know, they probably ate some. And they thought they were supposed to be eating vegetables, and they smashed it. So that's hella confusing to the kids if you well, yeah, said You know what it, I'm saying? They really don't know. Yeah. They I'm really like, don't, don't know. do that. They just, this is the thing. 
Mama and daddy vegetarian. Let so them be there. They grow up in that culture. Right. Which means mama and daddy tell them that they vegetarian. Yeah. So when they go out places and they go to people's cribs, they probably tell them I'm vegetarian. Right. And then nephew, I had to shout him out. He was a strong woman out here. She, I had to call Boo real quick and clarify that. Nephew ain't drink his bottle or sippy cup unless it had milk and bananas in it. He giving it back to you or slamming it down, letting you know this ain't it. What's the what's what's the point of the bananas though? I don't the know. I don't know. What okay. Wait like a regular milk in the so bottle or the milk sippy cup. Had to have bananas in it. Had to have it, but it not. And who started that? I don't know. Probably grandma. Her grandma probably. Okay. It either had to be grandma, grandma or her mom. Nah. Why the hell they put it? Is this Jamaican? Nah. The hell they put bananas in the baby before? Well. He was calling shots it's at an early age. It got to be something we don't know about. But. But to get it, you know what I'm saying? Granted, I understand. Okay, kids vegetarian. Right. Right. I was talking to wifey on the cast yesterday. Make sure y'all tune in to Mr. and Mrs. Mac podcast. Uh, if a man dies. It's mm-hmm. gonna it's gonna mess you up. It's a woman's fault. So if anybody dies in the relationship, right, whoever is the nutritionist of the family, nutrition is being cooked. Because in some houses the man cook, right? Right. So Boo is responsible for feeding you the right things. Right. Whether you want them or not, she in charge of it, right? Yeah, that's what she liked to do. So be if on. you if you eat like fried baked, baked fish, right? And you know what I'm saying, baked chicken wings and baked food. Most of the time, some may say you're gonna be healthier than other people if you eat more salads, if you eat more green vegetables, green vegetables, broccoli, right? You know what I'm saying. You might eat some some green uh, peas. I hate peas because you do. I, I fuck with. I fuck them. with the green beans, green beans, yeah. asparagus, spinach. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you're getting fed that, you're going to be healthier than the next man. Right. Who might want fried chicken, but the woman really don't concentrate. They just want to give you what you want. Right. So they're just going to fry the chicken. Right. When they can stop asking you what you want to eat, it just feeds you the healthier option. Just give it to you right. the best way. And I was just saying that I want queens to try to start taking that more seriously. Like, right. The men don't go to the grocery store. We don't go to the grocery store like that, dog. We just get the bags out the truck. Yeah, Boo say I be moving too fast in the grocery store. She don't. I be, she can't go. With of course, me. we men. We go in. We get what we I'm gonna get. And we get to. the hell out. I'm trying to get Off the hell the out. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in that hole like a field trip. Yeah, we, we taking that. No, nah. we in and out. So and I got anxiety. Cause the same responsibility lies with the kids. It's with the household. Whoever right. is cooking for the household. Has control over the health of the household right. nutritionally, right? So you have to cook with that in mind, right? And it's like a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people just cook what the kids want and all the other type of shit. Like I would eat fucking McDonald's like two, three times a week. Mm-hmm. Unhealthy as fuck, but. Yeah. She used to it now, and that's, you know what I'm saying? She knows it's there. Right. But if wifey would have started off just home cooking and cooking the healthy meals, that's what she would know the same way them kids know that they're vegetarian because they know they go home and eat celery sticks and ranch for a snack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man. So that's a note to whoever feeding the family. Yeah. And you you yeah. hold the, the health of your family in your hands whether you know it or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't really take it that deep, but it's that deep. Right. That's a jobby job. A healthy uh It's definitely nutritionist. Yeah. All of that. It's definitely all of that, dog. They can so, get, they can get it done though. The kids eating vegetarian, it's not that wild. There's probably some kids that tell you they're Presbyterian. They don't even know what the fuck that shit is. Their parents just told them that that's what it is. Yeah. So it'd it, it be like that. It'd Brain, be like that. Brainwashing them and shit. 
So, yeah, man, everybody who feed the family, like, just make sure that you keep it in mind. Yeah, man, shout out to the Kings, uh, Ski went in the building. As a new patient, I got to find a new doctor. You okay, found a new doctor. Okay. Came male in, or female? Gave him straight male. White man, black man? White man. Okay. He know his shit, though. He know his shit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he got a chance to know me. Did you ask him who you vote for? Trump or Biden? Nah. It's just important. He going to kill you or he not going to kill you. <laughs> but that's not today. Okay. But yeah. How was it, man? Well, first visit. Black men need to go to the doctor more. Yeah, I gotta. Uh, he put I the might re- have to rock with him. Yeah, I, I, he put the request in for me to uh, go get some blood work done to get checked, you know, for diabetes and all that extra stuff like that for the healthy side. Oh yeah, that's how they get you. Don't do it. That's how they get you. Don't do it. He said, "I got a whole year." Yeah, they're gonna go. They're gonna get your blood. They're gonna say, "Ah, oh, yeah, you are." Uh, look like you got a mild case of diabetes. We're gonna give you this medicine to take, and then the medicine gonna be diabetes. You know what I'm saying? But wasn't that for, you know what I'm saying? He was convenient. Uh, shit, I was on time. They forgot to check me in and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, What you mean check you in? Open the, when open, I came open the glass and say, oh, yeah, Mr. Felton? Yeah, I'll get my shit together. And then she said. You take uh, your insurance card and your ID in. Make yeah. sure it's you. First came in, the computer was uploading and all that shit because I had the early bird. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? But that dude went in front of me and shit. He was checking in. I was like, hey, you know. Skirt, skirt. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, yeah, get that shit together because it's now the time <laughs> of the appointment. You know what I'm saying? I had a 930. You had a 930. What time was it? Bro, it was 930 on the dot. Okay. When I said that to her, she got me together and then she came around. But I, I got in about like 10. Got me together on the allergy medicine. Okay. Gave him the rundown, told him what they had on file already. Uh-huh. And the previous doctor, don't give me that shit again. That shit make me feel crazy. What, what like make you this. feel crazy? Let the people know. What, what's the name it's of it? It was a uh, a generic version of the Benadryl. Okay. And uh, Shout out to Big Pharma. Y'all out here scoring everybody. It's, uh, and, the, and the pill was in the shape of like a square. Okay. It don't it's, work? Don't, I only used it one time. Had me fucked up like... Just was tripping, and I'm feeling it. Though. I'm like, nah, they don't, it don't work. It don't work. It j- it just make you feel some type of way, right? So I was like, nah, I'm cool. Then he asked me about Zer- uh, Zertex. Zertex said, yeah, I heard that's you know what I'm saying. So what he gave you? That, he gave you that next a level, gen- a generic version of the Zertex. Why well, gotta be generic? He should have gave you that upper echelon. I don't know that Zertea. You don't know about and, uh, that Zertea? Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, that's our tail. That's like our takes plus two. Uh, got yeah. me together on the. I'm uh, I don't know. I, on I, the nasal <laughs> spray too. <laughs> Trip. Oh, I don't know what the hell, nigga. But yeah, he but got yeah. me together on the nasal spray, and I was out. Okay. But, uh, cool, cool dude. Cool visit. Yeah, he was cool. Assistant was cool. She got me in and out. Okay. Got me together on the little office push. floor. Nope. Okay. So I was. Pretty much in and out. Wasn't busy. It was two people in there besides me. You know it's about time for you to get that colon cleansed, don't you? What's the time? <laughs> really, it's nigga? Time. Yeah, it's about time to get that colon cleansed. Oh, I think it was, what, 38? I don't know, man. When the man supposed to get that colon cleansed? got the ass linens on that one. No, nah, I'm finna look it up, dog. Go ahead. It's about time for you to get that colon cleansed, dog. You know what I'm saying? You gonna go? I don't know about that. What you mean you don't know about it, Ski? I got to do the research on it first. The detail research. Oh, no, man. You got it sometimes. It's 45. Oh, okay. Find out. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. It's 45, dog. Keep that. Keep that in the tuck? Yeah, keep that. Put that shit back on the shelf, huh? Real quick. (laughs) Nice and easy. Respectfully. (laughs) I ain't trying to fuck it oh, up. Oh, you trying to get that cold clear, dog. I feel nah. you, dog. All Man. right, so look. This one, when we first time we right. I want to talk about the view on the X after the breakup, mm-hmm. right? Not 
this is specifically to men and women and how they think after the relationship is broken. Right? Okay. So a woman partic- particularly hates when a woman looks better than her. So if you meet a chick that look better than her, got more money than her, all of that. Mm-hmm. She could be better on several levels, and the woman can be like, oh, my God, she's just so cuter than me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all, But this is, the, this is the sidebar, right? All the men care about is if that nigga throwing the dick. We don't care if this nigga pull up in the Maserati. We don't care if he got a ten million dollar mansion. Is he knocking it down the right way? <laughs> That's what we care about. <laughs> and I want to know why is that? See? That's all we care about, dog. We don't care about how good this nigga look, what this nigga wearing. Like, ain't none of that. I can get all that. Like, I think men feel like we can get all that. Like, no nobody care about it. Okay, you stay in that million dollar house. A nigga will tell you. I don't care if that nigga bought you a car or not. That nigga ain't throwing that thing like I throw that thing. That's you what, know what I'm saying? That's what it really, is. nigga? What yeah. You just said, it's, it's all like, about the thing. You you pitch your back. It's how all you, about what that Johnson. Used to. If that Johnson ain't swing, how I swing when I had it. It don't matter <laughs> what this nigga got. Man, I don't know. But for women, it's so surface level. Uh, like, they never think about, you know what I'm saying, where that woman uh, well, you know what I'm saying? She ain't got that, that wet, wet. You know what I'm saying? Right. They like, oh, my God, she pretty as hell. Like, dang, she got bread, bread. Like, she bought this nigga a car for look, Christmas? They be looking for the features. They be looking for the features. They be looking for the antics. Yeah, the features and the uh, the tribulations. But that don't appeal to me. Right. Only thing that appeal to us is if a nigga knocking it down better than I was. <laughs> That's the only thing we worry about, dog. Why is that, dog? That's crazy, though. I don't know. Why is it, Ski? You say that's the first thing coming in their mind. Like, he ain't hitting it. <laughs> he ain't hitting like I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, that motherfucker, <laughs> hey, it's not, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't shaking like it was when I was in that mug. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> oh, look. I don't care what that nigga got. Right. It, it ain't happening. It's just not happening at all. But yeah, that was a that was a weird thing that I thought of that like it's really true, man. Like women really care about what the other women got. Oh yeah. And men don't care what that nigga got. We don't care if that nigga got no car, see. bro. We okay, don't care. It's that car, okay. Yeah. This is where he work at real quick. Oh, they got a crib. Yeah. Oh, they they ain't got that oh they must have got this crib and the condo now. Yeah. Okay. Women own it. They the whole checklist. See, he look like he got a new job. You now. know what they doing? Okay. They take inventory of the new bitch. Yeah, somebody say they ain't getting it like <laughs> they ain't getting it like that, but shit, they doing something. Yeah. You know uh, what okay. I'm oh, she be switching her hair up. Sometimes she be wearing the long hair. And then she yeah, that's her. Yeah. Okay, well shit, he doing he doing him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He happy, I'm happy. That's how they be. Yeah. That's Flat how out. they be. That's crazy. That hey, that was funny because we was me and Boo's ass was watching Poetic Justice the other day. And the old babe was on uh you know what I'm saying, you heard me if you hear me. I'm yeah, I'm talking about your ass type shit at, okay. the, at the salon. And I was like, I knew it was finna go down because I'm I'm watching the movie and I'm like, see, I ain't seen this in a minute to just kind of remember all of the shit. Cause usually I, I remember some shit or right. whatever. She straight said, uh <laughs> she said, said, you got a problem, bitch. Bitch, <laughs> 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 you starting to look too hard. And I'm like, and they and then she just reminded her where yo, yo man, whatever his name was, she said, she said, yeah, he uh be doing this or something. She said, Oh, well, you just know every time you think of him, just know you kissing my I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop that's, hey, look, hey, that's what Charlemagne said about women eating his butt. Charlemagne out the chain. He say, I let them do it because if they ever try to come for me, if they ever try to get in an argument with me, I can always say, that's why you eat my ass, though. Yeah, Charlemagne, he whatever. He a weird nigga. You see that shit I put up on the on the, uh, on the stories? Uh-uh. When he was in all these girl outfits? 
Yeah, that was him. I didn't want to be a girl. That was Charlamagne. Yeah, Charlamagne off the chain, bro. But yeah, man. Uh, then I was then I was just thinking like, um, chick asked me at work, and I'm like, uh, she, and she said you gave me the answer. Hello, what she you asked? Look you? like you what, could give me. What she asked? She asked me. She asked you what if? She asked you if she can get the lumber. Nah, nah, nah. She was she was giving me an uh, example of somebody hit me up with a question. Okay, because me and Boo was gonna have to pull up with them with them. Rahs! Nah, she kept her distance. She kept her social. But we pulling up. Right, she kept her social distance though. She just wanted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she Give kept her social distance. So she say, <laughs> "What if somebody text you? You know what I'm saying? Right. Hypothetically speaking, it could have been a text, a message, in via email, whatever. Uh huh." But they hit you up and said they want to do something to you to see if you could call them daddy. What? So I'm just instantly thinking I'm hearing her talk or whatever. And she had mentioned the cash app. You know, her thinking like, oh, right. okay, you somebody want to pay for that. You know, or they want to. She should listen. They, in their mind frame. Yeah, I'm like, okay, for me. Listening to vagina. Okay. I'm over here like. A sex yeah. worker. Shout out to the sex workers. That's the setup. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Then they intervened and I was. Explain they was like, oh, so you don't you don't cheat. I'm like, no, sir. It's like you ain't never cheated on your girl. I'm like, black no, man sir. don't cheat. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Shout out was, to the king, I said, man. Yeah, I, I Shut got up. that black man don't cheat. Out the way, like in my player days when I had the options, like I'm like, but even then, I still look at like this is set up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, nah. I was like, okay, okay. But then she replied, Maybe she got it that way. Because of her mouth okay. and what she put out in, you know, sometimes right. I'm out getting in trouble. Okay. I'm like, see, playing with fire. Playing you know what fire. I'm saying? You ran across your sugar daddy and say, he'll pay for that. Yeah, you got to watch what you say. You, the universe you is listening at all times. You do. So the 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 tries, the maybes, all that got to go for 2022. You got to be matter of fact about what you're doing. Oh uh, yeah, cause so, they going. They, yeah, and she didn't got, got her sugar day. Say you gonna pay for it. She ain't. She ain't ready for him. Not ready. Why she ain't ready for him? She already that way. I think. She already got a sugar daddy. Nah, uh, married. Ah, oh. so that's why I said she done fucked up. Yeah, she done threw the line out. You know what I'm saying? And they done caught on mm-hmm. too much indulging. You know what I'm saying? It was just engaged intention, like. Okay, so if Boo, let me ask you this. If Boo meet a sugar daddy, uh-huh. right, that got bread, mm-hmm. right? Like this nigga that had a lawn service for 55 years. Right. Right? Bread it up. Net worth like 10 million. He got cut golf courses and everything. And Boo come to you like, uh, look, Boo. I got this nigga. He an old nigga. You know what I'm saying? He trying to trick off that cash. And I ain't got to give him no ass. What you going to say? Go on here and pack your shit. Damn. Maybe you could be his secretary. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can run it up. She got to go, Ski? Got to go. Damn, dog. Really, nigga? Got to go. Oh, man. Ski say, boo, got to go for the, for the, the cash? Yeah. But see, that's how I be starting. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got to give no ass. Right, but the woman got the, the, the ability to cut it off when they, when the OG wants a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? When yeah, you want to get the hanky-panky, they can cut it off, dog. They don't be cutting it off. They don't be cutting it off? They be just tread lightly. Man, you play tripping, safe. Man. You tripping, son. <laughs> they don't play get, safe. Don't get that bread. You better not fuck the old nigga, though. <laughs> It's an Earl. Yeah. Especially if a nigga named Earl. Oh no, it ain't gonna be no Earl. <laughs> it might be it might be an old old motherfucking Caucasian brother. Ah, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or it might be an old, you know what I'm saying? Like I done heard of Deacons paying for like straight sugar daddy fees for no sex. They just wanna go to lunch. You know what I'm saying? That's all they wanna do, Ski. Spend some wine and dine time. That's yeah. it. Find out. For an extra four thousand dollars a month in your account. They wanna go on real dates. 
or to pay the car no pay the rent you know they pay your bills when they call they want you to come no all you gotta do is you know what I'm saying yeah see them sugar daddies be having them amounts they be having them amounts amounts they they know what they paying for yeah they got disability coming they gonna let nigga know they got their retirement they got to pay car notes (laughs) toes bills yeah, dog. Kids, Nick. lunch money. Nails. I'm gonna put in work. I'm on, putting on in that ten thousand dollars a month for them for that boy to go to college. Oh, stop playing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He got them J's on his feet because of me, huh? Dang. <sighs> Man. Sugar days. They probably taking back over in the uh twenty twenty two. Uh sugar, sugar days they ain't never had a, a drought. Yeah. They always relevant. Dang, dog. I didn't expect you to say you was going to put Boo out, man. Yeah, Boo got to go. Like how they did the dinosaur on Flintstones. You try to come back in, I'm putting your ass right <laughs> back out. I right, on the front. You're supposed to let her get the bread for a little minute, Ski. Especially if he offering the bread. And all she got to do is go to lunch with the nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rub her shoulder. <laughs> Henry, you're so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> the fuck, nigga? <laughs> Straight yeah, that's up, how dog. They, that's how they really get it. Yeah, dog, that's what I'm saying. That's Nigga, you tripping. That's, that's, Go on, get that bread. That's the work wife. Flat out. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, that's his, that's just his when he can wife. Sugar daddy. He might not even be able to come out today because his gout messing up. You know what I'm saying? He wants you to do a dash. Or yeah. he adored that she ran him, so yeah. you hear me? He got you. You know he want that three piece from Popeyes. You hear me? Nah, they might. They got the dinner box now. And don't get me spicy. You know my heart can't take. Yeah, all no that spicy. Heat. Yeah, can't yeah. take it. Yeah, dog. You gonna put Boo out? You lame, nigga. Yeah, Boo gotta go. You so lame, cuz. You lame, dog. Man, who you had picked all right, so for the, this week for? So the, so the barber. Ah, uh, you went to the barber, right? Yeah, I wound up getting it. Okay, what happened? Cause you hit me up concerned <laughs> and worried, man. Like I said, what happened? I I think I'm gonna figure it out. Cause I was in there waiting. Uh, Hold behind up. the same person though. Okay, Ski, so apparently all, Ski hit me up and he was concerned about the time because his time was still the same, the same, just like mine was. Yeah. But he Ski got the cat number, so we hit him up. And yeah. if you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to tune in to last week's episode where we talked about the barber. But yeah, ski hit me up. Was it? Did you get in the day you were supposed to get in? Yeah, I wound up going. Okay, when you a, got there, did you have to wait? Uh, probably. Yeah, I had to wait. Yeah, I had to wait. The fuck you got a list for, bruh? Yeah, I had to wait. Okay, so what happened? You had to wait. How long you wait? Twenty minutes. Uh. Like third. Damn! Really, nigga? What's wrong with this nigga, man? I don't know, but... Nah, uh, Ski, we not rolling like that, dog. All right, so I, you waited 30 minutes, and you finally I was, got I was, I was just, like I said, I was just... Did he make you late to work again? Nah. But I was, like you I You were speeding? Nah, I was speeding, but I seen... I was in her uh-huh. on the, the same day I got cut before. Right. Behind the same person. Okay. But it was another person as well. Uh-huh. So I was like, okay. But. So did you text him? What, when I came? Did nah, you, nah, I did you only make your appointment and go in? Yeah, or yeah, did yeah, you I make your appointment in. and then call them? Nah, I just remember I had text him. No, but I still went in at the appointment time. Okay, you text so That's why I was just like, okay. Then when he, uh. He asked me this time was you know what I'm saying who I was and I was like yeah I'm like okay so he went to the phone got me off the list but that's why I said it's 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 something behind it though but I already told yeah he you finessing he finessing he finessing his uh, homeboys in and his regular customers and he not gonna stop finessing so what you go they, through uh, what you go through to get cut you gonna get go through every week bro every and two they be weeks ready bro. to get out of the shop yeah nah. I yeah. said I gotta uh, I gotta go through uh, through uh, Sisney shop and holler at cuz because I wanna uh, I just wanna see how much my cousin gonna charge me to get the girls her braids. 
Okay. I want to see what she's working with because she got some skills. And well, hold on, wait a minute. So you ain't fucking with Benji? Well, nah, Benji. Uh, Benji. Well, Benji more or less did uh, lyric her. Benji did both of that her before. Yeah, with the with the with the weave though. But see, with L, was you trying to get her some Iverson? Nah, no, 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 no weave. No weave, real braid, real hair out of the real braids. Probably beads on the end. That's how L like to rock her shit anyway. Her Lyric her, like that. long? Yeah. <coughs> That's why oh, I okay. said they be doing more with that situation with her. But yeah, I'm going to slide through because I know sis going to be up in there. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, uh, Ski went to the bar again. We're going to see how long this shit lasts. It ain't going to last long, yeah, I'm telling you. He either going to end up going back to sis or whatever. My whatever. man said, appreciate you for your patience. You know no. what I'm saying? Got you right. What? This cup! This cup! After the cast, I'm gonna have to tell what I seen. I'm like, okay. So. Uh huh. You, like, you saw the finesse game working in, in, from, in real action? In real time? Yeah. You saw the finesse game working. I know you did. I figured it out. I figured it out. You cracked the code? I am. I'm in there. You done untangled the rope. I'm, yeah, ropes is untangled. Okay. Oof. I done figure it out. Hey, right. man, you ever had Super Wing? Over on New Floors and then, like, Airport Road? Nah. You talking about uh, across the street from, like, the Shopper's Aid? What's this? Snooks or Shopper's Aid? Shopper's Aid. It used to be Shopper's Well, it might still be Shopper's Aid right there, but uh-huh. I know the one over here closed. Yeah, that's my nigga yeah. Big Zeke way. Shout out to Big Zeke. Or it Zeke. might be Snooks, but yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. Gotta check them out. They got some fire little wings up in there. Oh, you had some? Yeah. That's Who got them, Boo? Boo introduced you? Boo introduced me. Okay. And, who, uh, and they was busting? Yeah, they was straight. Uh, they was straight or they was busting? They was busting. Okay. Uh, I'm finna give you the flavor. What kind you get? Hot? Sweet hot? What's 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 something hot? Honey hot? Mm-mm. Habanero? No. What's the other? Ghost pepper? Not ghost pepper. Nigga hot hot, nigga. Uh-uh. Nigga mild hot. It might be the habanero. It, it definitely is. It definitely ain't no habanero. You ain't eating no habanero wing. Nah, it had two flavors. It was the honey and the habanero, so they mixed it like this. It was honey habanero. Or was it honey hot? Nah, I know what it was. What was it? Sriracha. Sriracha. Honey Uh, sriracha. uh, Fire. They not even hot. Honey sriracha. Yeah, they they not even hot, though, at all. That was fried? Fried. Not too much batter on them? Not too much. Yeah, you was straight. Fire, fire? Yeah, even though I asked them to double bag it, wasn't no sauce in there dripping out, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's what I experienced the first time. And Boo was Did maybe get... thinking she was hitting them corns too damn fast. Uh-huh. But nah, just tell them, well done, honey sriracha. Mm-hmm. With, the cheese, with the cheese fry. And it was busting. Yeah, that was busting. Fries was busting. Yeah. All right, what's it called? Super Wing? Super Wing right Super there. Wing. If you uh, in St. Louis, try out Super Wings and let us know what you think. Let yeah. us know if it's trash. Now, I ain't going to lie. You got, you got me ready. I got to get back down to the City Foundry, too. We was going to slide this week, but. Why well, you was talking about the City Foundry the other day? They got a new Creo there. spot. I want to check too cold out. to go down there right yeah, now. Yeah, too cold. And it's cold. Now, it, ran, it was negative probably like two, Seven. two, three days this week. In digit, single digits. Yeah. yeah. Two, three days this week yeah. in the morning up until like 12 o'clock. Boy, I, one day it only got to like. 20 degrees, and I, that was the high. I told the girls, I seen the little dude walk past when I picked him up for school. He popped them up in the soda. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? He drinking his shit. Uh-huh. He mobbing. Boy, we get to the main street. I seen this little ass. He was going down the street like this, backwards. That wind got to that ass. So it was it was that type of wind Shout out where to the you, man as soon as you go out, that hawk hitting that ass. Oh, the hawk All in the hit. face. Make you Tighten up like the yeah. hawk definitely hitting. Yeah, it was out there. But hey uh, man, shout out to all the parents that uh got gloves, scud caps. You the grease balled your kids' face, whole body up because it's needed. It's COVID out here, and they can't get another sickness in the midst of all of the other shit that's going on. So you know what, man? Man, get them right. Why do you keep pressing me for Aubrey to get vaccinated, bro? And I'm so not against it, dog. 
Yeah, that's uh. But she already had COVID before too, so that's another thing that make me not want to do it. Like she's already had COVID, so if she gets COVID again, it's not going to be as worse as it was the first time. Regardless, even if the antibodies ain't even done no more, her body knows the disease. Well, that's but why have you been trying to oppress me, bro? I mean, that's see if the circumstance was. Wasn't what yours is, it may be a little different. And my but thing that is, situation, everybody else in the house is vaccinated. So if right. something goes wrong with the vaccination in 10 years, mm-hmm. to where they say your body going to start developing this and everybody get, took the vaccine, you're going to die. She still can hold the legacy. You know what I'm saying? But wifey, be pre- she been pressing me, bro. And I've been like, nah. I know what it is. What is it? That's because Kiara and that motherfucker earth because the girls got the vac. That's the girls vaccinated? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because, you know, they Did you been traveling and shit. Nah, I ain't, I ain't. You had to take baby daddy roll. Just backseat. We don't really make. We, yeah, put certain choices we can make. When they need some shoes, we can make a choice to send money or not. And Boo rap with me about it, too, though, because she was just giving me the details on you know, if the kid at pre-K Man, at that age kid, get it. I mean, I know Everybody that. got a quarantine, so uh, it's like a lot of the parents, they was, they couldn't wait till they had one for the for the vaccine for a kid nah, at that age. But nah, bro. I don't know. You got to do the research. Nah, Make man, a choice. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, she, she just needs to stay how she's staying. She been good. Yeah, so I tell wife if she got to uh, she turn that she, out. The girls ain't never had COVID, right? Nah. Right. See, she done had COVID Get what I'm before. saying? She ain't got so no, she, different, ain't, she got antibodies. Situation. So yeah. it, essentially the girls have antibodies now that they have been Exposed. Vac- vaccinated. Yeah. But yeah, so let's talk about um how to handle women, Ski. Get right to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I need noob Ski. I don't need, don't don't bring me boo Ski. Right up. Just like you told me you was going to put boo out, I need you to keep that same energy. You feel me? Keep that same energy. What uh, what's the category in handling the women? What's okay, this is what we're going with. Now, all of these are like basically relationship questions, right? Oh, okay, but not marriage, just relationship. Like right. y'all could be in a relationship for six months, seven months, eight months, right? Whatever. Your woman tell you she broke. But she found you found out she got a whole nother account with cash in it. Mm-hmm. How do you handle the woman in the relationship? She How do you know handle it? Broke. You found out uh, Boo got ten grand in the savings account with the Lions Credit Union, and the only thing you know about is the. Is the 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 St. Louis Community Credit Union account? She says she broke. And you 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 going to fill up a tank, ski, <laughs> for the week? You going to fill a tank up for the week? Receipt on the floor. You like what is this? Uh-huh. Ten grand Alliance Credit Union savings. Two grand in the checking. Yeah. She told you she was broke. I mean, well, if if it's that situation, then yeah. We- how you how you how you gonna handle it? Just got the rap real quick, cause I ain't trying to be in your business. Rap, I would. Yeah, we got. Oh no, no. But with lies, sit down. Have severely been told. Yeah, but we got to rap about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. Nah, I don't want to steer you in the wrong way to make you thinking. Oh, I'm about to break up with you. I'm up. Nah, we got to rap real quick, or you know, we got to sit down. You know, okay, so just because I seen. Okay, give me your scenario. Yeah, you, I you, seen you, that. You seen the receipt, so you like, pump boom. the gas, you go home, you yeah. walk through the door. Oh, okay. What do you say to Boo? I'm coming in with the receipt. Exactly. I'm saying, because uh, Boo be watching her movies and shit. Uh-huh. Like can I pause? Can you pause it? You know what I'm saying? Sit up for me a little bit. I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Be pause? Uh-uh. The move. Pause the move. Nah, okay. Put that motherfucker on pause. You know what I'm saying? Right. Sit up, because I got to rap with you face-to-face. I don't want to be laying down, and I'm sitting up. We got to rap face-to-face. You got to okay. sit up. So you coming in on, on the catering side. You wanted to be comfortable. Yeah, I want you to have full understanding. You know what I'm saying? I had to This is a serious you. conversation. Yeah, I had to, pardon the interruption. Yeah. Right. So PSA. I'm like, 
Well, you said you was a little broke, or you said you was broke. Right. As I was pumping the gas, I said, well, she was She broke. said she was broke. That's why you going to fill up the tank. You went to right. the ATM to get her $100 out for the next three days. Yeah. Filled up the tank for her. But, I, but, yeah, and after we rap, it's just either, you know what I'm saying, you broke or you not. Nah. Conversation. What happens in the conversation? You're not going to skip over the conversation. Pause the movie. Sit your ass up. <laughs> what do you say? What's, what's, How are you going to let her know, I got the receipt. You gonna you said you're going to bring the receipt to her. And say, I thought you said you was broke. Okay. That's what you're going to say? Yeah, and it's either you broke or you not. Because <laughs> I'm thinking you was because you told me and I went to, went to get you together. Right. But I happen to see this right here, so let me know what it is. Real quick, though. Real quick? No, uh, you know how niggas like to uh, wait to the end of the day uh-huh. and the getting bit. Nah, uh, we got to handle this. Well, good for boo. As soon as I come in. Yeah, good for boo. Because you coming in soft. Yeah. It might come in there hot. If the TV on, I'm unplugging that bitch. Are uh, you coming in? I'm coming Luther. in hot. I'm snatching <laughs> the fucking cord out the wall. Okay. I'm motherfucking throwing the receipt. Yeah. And my question is, what the fuck is this shit? Ah, uh, okay. You charging it to the game. Yeah. You know it's it's some because yeah. clearly it's right here. So you tell me what yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. All day. What is this? That's how Ian Mac handled it. Oh, baby, this is the money that I had to decide. Into. We in a relationship. Ain't no side money. If I can't have no side bitches, it ain't no side money. Oh, okay. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Come on, get your purse. Make sure you go, or you need need your purse. Get your wallet. Uh huh. Cause you about to break me off. That hundred though, you just went to the ATM. Again. Exactly. I need to put that back in there. <laughs> wifey calling you. Let me see what wifey want. Come on, girl. What's up with the, the the connection? Is horrible. The frequency is a little bad over Where there. Where is she at? Hello. Hello? Yeah, that was our bad. Oh, my, you know. I was looking up the towels over here or something. It's still do or die playing. But, yeah, dog, you got me fucked up. Yeah, you got what me is all this? fucked up. Yeah. All day. No, nah, dog, that's not right. Yeah, we can't ride on that. I'm coming in aggressive. You better Ooh. know that. I'm definitely coming in aggressive. Yeah. So, ski advice is to... Come in softly, you know, sit up, address the situation. Yeah. Ill Max take is, you come in going ham, nigga. It was funny. Me and Boo was talking about that shit the other day. Cause Boo, what? Boo was a, uh, turn, turn the TV up a little bit. Type. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, want y'all can take the time and go subscribe on the YouTube and Urban Access Network, man. man. Uh, hit the like button, drop a comment, let us know how we doing these days. Uh, hey, I'm trying to check out, out the Mister Mrs. Mrs. Mac podcast as well. Get you some little advice on relationship shit, you know. Hello. Yeah, pod. Yeah, we on the pod, man. You calling me on the Facetime and it ain't working. What's up, man? What you need? You need something? Oh, Jesus, pod. Yeah. It's- Okay, sorry. I thought the podcast started too. My bad. Yeah. We had to hold up. First of all, we was waiting on Cuzzo. Don't do that. Ski was on time. Yeah. It's five o'clock. 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 It's five hey, look. First of all, we talking about you women anyway. So you make sure you oh. tune in. Don't talk about us. We talk about y'all. Because you one of the ones that be capping about that paper too. Why you be lying about me about your money? I don't be lying about you. I gotta have me a stash for us. <laughs> <laughs> don't, know, Ski. don't believe that, Ski. Right, that ain't that's no cap. stash. You heard me? That's Cap. Yeah, she Bye. said for us. Bye. That's boo all day. Nah. That's boo all nah. day. Though. That's Cap, though, Ski. It is don't so let him hit cap. you with that bullshit. Yeah. Don't let him hit you with it, dog. Boo will do that shit all day. Yeah, nah, dog. Don't, don't let him do that bullshit, dog.
But yeah, Boo was one of them when we was in the apartments. Turn the TV up a little bit. I okay. Talk to you about something. So she hugged. This is the next scenario. Uh huh. Y'all in Target. I ain't gonna say Walmart because I don't really like Fuck Walmart. Fuck with the Walmart. But y'all in Target. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? She see a nigga. She hug a nigga. You know what I'm saying? She said, oh, this is an old friend. Mm-hmm. You said, oh, okay. Later on, you found out there was an ex. Mm hmm. How you handle the woman in that situation? I'm gonna just be hot. You gonna be hot? I mean, what? I, you, what I'm, I'm going to aggress on now. You got. You got to give me. A, you got to give me the scenario though. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, remember, uh, that the nigga, boy there was the yeah. ex. Yeah, her well, remember the close friend? Yeah, from from Target. Yeah, found out he was the ex. So is Found we, out he is, was an ex. Is we lying or, or are you a liar? Or what, what are we doing? What's the, what's the, Ooh, what's the role? A liar. Yeah, we got to figure it out. Because I done found out. So now we got to figure it out together. Right. But So, I mean, what happened? I guess that how uh, the belief of what, what you say who, who, who is. Trust is lost. Out of her. I can't believe what you say no more. Gone. You got to start over. You done heard your whole ex-boyfriend in my face. You got to remind me all the time who somebody is, and you got to say, now, I know I said this time, this time, but this that's who this yeah. was. Yeah, and, you, you know, you find out you, casually. You ain't even you ain't even yeah. searching. You just at the 4th of July party with the family. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know. Somebody hit you with that. Y'all did make a good couple. Nah. Somebody on Instagram and shit be like, yeah, hey, look, this her motherfucking ex right here. This nigga hella lame. You like, that's the same nigga from the Target. Close friend from Target. Hold up. Yeah. What's going on here? Yeah, you got to handle that. You got to handle that. And the trust. You coming in the hot? Police, yeah, coming in 38 hot. Yeah, coming in 38 hot. All day. Yeah. I agree. You can't let this slide. Now. When she say she ain't never did it, but she do it like a pro. Every nigga that had this one, I say the best for last. Every nigga that had this one, she say she ain't never did it, Ski, but she do it like a pro. Lying, you shouldn't have told me that. What do you, I mean, but like, how do you, how you let her know you know she capping though? Old school. Old school. I'm not fucking with it. You not you so is face? it just a face or you you let her know that you know she capping? Oh, you gotta let her know. How you let her know? Nigga, stop playing. No, serious. Oh, okay. I ain't believing that shit. Yeah. I ain't living nigga balls before. <laughs> like what? Stop playing. You do that shit like a pro. Like a pro. Yeah, okay. Oh, look. I ain't never did it. Uh, what? <laughs> what is you talking about? Uh, yeah, you you got to be lying. So your first time is that time, and you 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 doing it like that? Yeah, we ain't going for that. Nah. First of all, PSA to women. We done had first timers before. Yeah. We know what first timers. Run ups and everything. Yeah, we, you know we, I mean? we know what how they move. Yeah, they came out the bitch. So you can't just ready. come and, you know what I'm saying, talking about, you, you know. No, you got mm. eating corn on the cob like this for your first time. Like, no, ma'am. Mm-hmm. You, you didn't eat the corn on the cob you with, with the butter plate. on it. Fuck, scrub the ground. You just scrub the plate on the corn. Scrub the plate, ski. <laughs> All I, kernel. Hey, so the motherfuckers got time to fuck off with somebody for Valentine's Day, or oh, it's too late. They got time for a little date, a little something. What you mean? Like to set something up. Oh, you still got if you, time. If you ain't got it ain't nothing, February yet. If you ain't, ah, oh, okay. You so got to get in there before February. Hit. Once February hit, you're going to start running in the hotels being booked up. The nice restaurants being booked up. But this is the thing I asked wifey on the cast. Like, do people really care about where they eat on Valentine's Day? Or Valentine's Day weekend? See, Valentine's Day is on a Monday this week, so you figure everybody going to celebrate it 
Saturday and Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, because they going to work on Monday. Like, ain't nobody really finna take off on no Monday for some smashing, and we smash all the time. You know what I'm saying? So we yeah. just going to do Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday, and we'll check out Sunday evening. Yeah, it might be just a but, limited, limited options. Limited all options. All shit. Yeah. So it's like. But do I we think. care about what we eat? Nah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm on dungeon mode. Valentine's it's Day. Just, right? it's, it's, just 50 shades, it's 50 Shades of Black with your Mac. Yeah, like, we going to get... Uh, special. It's just like we went out to eat yeah. for Valentine's Day. We, I mean, we had the opportunity to go out to eat. Yeah. Valentine's Day. We nah. sat down. We mm-hmm. rapped. Mm-hmm. But... We going to see Lydia season. If you do I order, go somewhere... I order a whole lot of chicken from uh, from Wingstop. We going to order us some, some salad and Where some y'all other going to check from, them out at? On from Olive, Monday? From Olive Garden. All this shit is to go, Ski. We're not. I don't care about the restaurant experience on Valentine's Day. So where y'all? Valentine's Day is the time for a man to recertify his throne. So where y'all going to see Lydia C. At? As the now nutter. Uh, I don't know. But on, on Monday, though? No, nah, that's on Saturday. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I already See, we doing the out. Saturday through Sunday. Like, I'm going to work on Monday, so and she probably gonna have to work on Monday. So, yeah. we ain't doing it, you know. See, yeah, man, Boo gonna get out here, touch the surface of the earth one time the following weekend. Oh, so y'all doing the weekend after? Yeah, but I'm a, uh, you know, since I had the girls come over, I'm a, uh, we might do breakfast. They big breakfast is so we might go somewhere for breakfast type shit. I had big daddy. He had his shit together because you know we back. Yes, yeah. for everybody, every girl in the uh, family, yeah. all the daughters in the family. And uh, what, two weeks? No, we do it. He talking about he ain't ready. I think y'all gave you the, the fair one. And he really, nigga? Yeah, I asked him in Walmart yesterday. He was like, nah, I ain't ready. I said, okay. boy, you better get ready, nigga. You better stack that paper. Because yeah. we, we get gifts for every woman in the immediately family. You know, mom, her mom, we do all that. Okay. But yeah, man. So uh, you do got a couple couple weeks to, cause that's why I was just saying, like, if you ain't got a date, you want to do something for a chick or something. You got time. You got time. Yeah. You you long as you do before February, you good. Yeah, February, you gotta be locked in. All uh, day, ski. What they, you got for the people? Man, uh, shout out to all of the real supporters that's been holding us down. Like we said, we around the corner from a thousand uh, subscribers on YouTube. We kindly like it and appreciate it all in the same sentence. If you can uh, tell your friend, tell your mama, tell your cat dog, cat Jaru, dog. husband, Jaru. teacher, <laughs> everybody out here that listen to podcasts or, you know what I'm saying, you don't mind tapping in on some conversations. Right. Good urban situations out here, the more positive side, the funny, the comedy, the real. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead right. and check in. But uh, be on the lookout for uh, Dolly and Daryl. Uh, got some situations coming up in the near future. Um, all 2022, y'all getting surprises, surprises from Ski. I'm the I'm the big Ski LOL. Surprises. You heard me? Yeah, I'm the the new LOL. You hear me? The new LOL. Hell yeah! 2022, call me Mister New LOL, nigga. Hit the camera one time, but um, uh, go check out Mister and Mrs. Mac. Uh, go run up Dolly and Dur on the TikTok as well, man. Boo got a little TikTok page going on. Uh, she said I got to, you know what I'm saying, I be BS and I got to do more videos and all that shit, you know. Uh, so we got to get that figured out and situated at the same time. Uh, shout out to my family. They came back safe and sound one piece. They just returned from a cruise. Uh, they had a fantastic time going to Mexico. Everybody was... Uh, Able to experience some things that they ain't never experienced. Uh, meet some people, you know what I'm saying? Even with the social distance and all of that shit going on, I seen my little bro. He had a chance to celebrate his birthday. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to bro. Uh, shout out to cuz. I see he been doing this thing. You know what I'm saying? Bird getting a little, little big on there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to all of the January birthdays I heard. I think that's uh, Capricorn season. If you know what I'm saying? Don't call me. Don't you know what I'm saying? Don't get on my ass. I'm just trying to give you a big shout out though, because we rounding on up. Shout out to everybody who uh indulged in MLK Day. You know what I'm saying? You watched the movie, you posted a post, you know what I'm saying? You had a a, a quote or you acknowledged the day, you know what I'm saying, by chilling. And uh 
just knowing it was a, a it's a national holiday, and we uh, respectfully support that. So, um, shout out to everybody who's you know what I'm saying, knowledgeable of the history, man. Because we got to keep on moving, we got to keep on going. I had a chance the other day to MLK see, day? yeah, and I had a chance the other day to see shout a real picture MLK. of uh, Emmett Till. You know what I'm saying? What he looked like as In a the kid. Uh uh-uh. uh. He was standing next to his mama, or whatever. Like that shit fucked me up though. Like yeah. I ain't never seen a picture of him in real life. Like, it was kind of cool though. Yeah, I I, I I seen no pictures. How how did it affect you, dog? I was knowing just, how he died. Yeah, I was, I don't know. It just just make me think of like don't be even going to places like like that because shit still may be the same. That's all I could think about. So, yeah, man, it's deep, man. Yeah. Uh, follow me at uh, Ilmac314, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm posting more pictures and stuff, you know what I'm saying? 2022, I'm trying to get involved with the algorithm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Make sure you follow Urban Access on all social media platforms and YouTube. And uh, you know what? I ain't said this all 22. This is my first time say saying my slogan. Oh. Hey, stay prayed up, and if we two gangsters to pray, man, at least thank God we out. <laughs>